sofa6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour Indeed they are Hello, good evening and welcome It's Thursday the 27th of June The day before Friday the 28th Which is the day before Saturday the 29th yeah. Of June The knees meet Yes that's on Saturday. Yes. And this is the here's hour, or it will be, after we do the tightly thing. And we, we, Do we need to count it in tonight? Mm. Think not? No. Now, Daz might be having a few problems tonight. We're not sure. But if we go to the close-up, if you have a look at the handsome visage of the Dazmeister, you will see that apparently he's been to Specsavers. I have. He's been to Specsavers. Mm-hmm. Do they not let you keep your glasses on when they choose when they choose <laughs> new ones, like... <laughs> I actually went to go and get sunglasses and I, I <laughs> came out the So you come and <laughs> <laughs> No, I did get the sunglasses as well. Really? Yes. And they sold you those as well? I got these free with them. Oh, yes. well, if it's free, it's not so bad. Yeah, exactly. Can you can you see the camera properly? I can. So shall we introduce the show and, and go for the titles? <laughs> Hang on, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gillis is saying, but it wasn't sunny. Okay. Oh God. Matt Clock says it does make you look younger. Thank, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Matt Clock. What do you want? What are you after? Because <laughs> we've got out. Um. <laughs> I might mix you up the five mil bottle of juice for it. I don't know. Oh God, uh, be careful. Be very, if it does his juice, be careful. It's, it's addictive, you know. Shall we? Yes. Good evening and welcome to the, the Here's Hour. hour. Yes, <laughs> we're on. It's the Here's Hour. Now, if you're watching on video on demand, you are missing out on a set of viewers in chat who appear to have a very, very warped sense of humour. Yes. Because it's already been a request for Daz to use a Michael Caine voice and you saw what it said. Can you do it? You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. <laughs> We take requests. We take. Was was that? Um, it was more like Australian. I was going to say that, that was that was more like the outgoing prime minister of Australia. <laughs> You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off, Cobber. But never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. They've said that. Look, this I know, you're said, ter- I'm not. The, honestly, carry on with this chat, and you'll get no more requests. I'm telling you. <sighs> I do. They want telling you. you. They want you to sing. They were wanting Sav to sing last night. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 I, the I, long shot. I tried always to get up to sing. We've been to Button Moon, and she wouldn't. I uh, cracked on. I didn't know what it was. Nothing. Yes, um, they're on about me hair now. The hair. The hair. What's my with the hair? It's hair today and gone tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Look, shall we do something sensible? Yes. You, pe- we, we've got we've got marvelous people involved in the AC community. Um, I was going to say none more so, but I would be telling lies because they, they, they're just everybody's marvelous. And you know, for the last however long, I've been saying, "Go and see your MP, go and see your MAP." Well, today, mm. very boring. For it is he did exactly that, and he's blogged it and he's told everybody what happened. Now, I'm not going to read it all out. Well, I could in a Scottish accent. Mm. But, so, I've just returned from meeting with Anne Maguire and want to get this down while it is still fresh. 
I opened by asking her how much she knew about e-cigs. It's all new to her. Mm. So I then, as briefly as I could, explained my backstory and about e-cigs and my perception of them and how they basically work. And that's as much as I'm reading to you. That's all, it's there. Find his blog and have a read. It's, it's a brilliant account of how it went down when Very Boring went to see his MP. And I'm going to say, mega kudos to the guy. Mm. Brilliantly well done. And, and, and one of the reasons is because I know how nervous he was. And anybody else that was following what was going on on Twitter would know that as well. Mm. Um, brilliant. VB, big thumbs up. Big thumbs up from DDV does. Absolutely. Who apparently is a new robot in the new version of Star Wars. <laughs> yes. DDV and does. And it is interesting as well because following on from what um, we were talking about in VT Talk last night that Very should just mention the same as what Lorian mentioned about going to the MP and it's the representatives. A lot of a lot of the, the people who are writing back being the representatives and not the MPs. Mm -hmm. And when they're coming to meeting the MPs that they don't know anything about. It. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um very boring, VB, you've got absolutely nothing, nothing, nothing whatever to be embarrassed about. Uh -uh. Not a damn thing mm -mm. to be um, embarrassed about. It, it's, it, it's a cracking job, it's a cracking blog. Everybody that's read it so far said exactly the same. For those who don't know where it's at, get onto Twitter, follow Very Boring. There's a link off to it. I think I've got a link on some of my posts as well. And does will have links on his when you mm. get there, won't he, does? Yeah. We're, we're, we're both will. Everybody... Just, just get on Twitter and follow any, any or you know, just. Uh, I gotta stop drinking before we start the shows. You know that, don't you? It's the lemonade that's done it. Yes, it's not the cider. Absolutely, yes. Oh, good. <laughs> I love that. VB's obviously protested a little, a little bit, and Midge Dog has said, "Shut it, VB. It was brilliant." End. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely, absolutely. Ab absolutely brilliant that was yeah and and it, it's actually i've as you probably gathered i've been a little bit busy spending most of the time a day in front of the computer emails sorting bits and bobs spreadsheet i've done a spreadsheet have you uh-huh wow and i've got 21 names on the list for going to brussels yay 21 closes on tuesday info at vapertrails.tv Give us a give us a drop us an email if you if you if you need to go, and it, there's more than that. Mm. There's people booting left, right, and centre. The, the train was empty yesterday morning. Van I full now. People are having trouble getting seats, so we'll kind of get another carriage. Mm. But yeah, I was um, I had time to have a little bit of a, a search about, and Mr. Bates has been at it again. Right. Yes. I like when Mr. Bates sat it again. Well, yes, Mr. Bates is uh, is very good at that. Yes, he's, he's Clive. Yes, he's very very good at that. Shall we? Shall we show? We'll yes. show. We'll show. This is this is what Mr. Bates has been doing. It's the tobacco. Where are we? Come on, David. Get, you, I'm all fingers and thumbs. It's his blog, the counterfactual, ClivePates.com. Tobacco products directive, e-cigarettes and snus and update. And again, I'm not going to read it all out, but. Everything. It's an update on developments in the EU and UK, contains notes on the process, mm. where we are and what next. The European Parliament, the European Council, a summary, and you couldn't make this up, you couldn't mind. What next? Compromise amendment on e cigs <laughs> What next? Snus, oral tobacco, and the MHRA UK medicines regulator. There's all kinds of stuff there. It's a hell of a meeting point for people that are involved in e cigs to go and have a look. Now, I would exhort you bookmark clivebates.com and keep up to speed with what's going on and i'll tell you why i'm saying that the man is so incisive he is so clever he is so insightful he's getting to the bottom of all of this long before many others mm -hmm. he knows what's going on he knows which side his bread is buttered on mm. it's it's brilliant so there's two blogs you need to be reading very boring's and clive Bates. yeah there you go. Absolutely. Shall we shall we do something technical that Keith would hate? Yes. Well, where Keith will normally like have forty winks at this point. Keith would normally be snoring at this point. Now, yes. you may remember that last week I had a look at the uh, the Camry K two thousand, this little goldy beastie, mm -hmm. and on Tuesday night 
my partner in crime, my colleague, my, my, my big handsome friend, down in, in, is it Bradford or Barnsley? Barnsley. Barnsley. Barnsley, down in Barnsley, um, Marco, had a look as well. And I had promised that I would put the Camry K2000 on the scope. And the scope is there. It's not switched on at the minute. But here's some film I videoed earlier, and then I'm going to tell you what it actually means if you can't work it out for yourself. Have a look. All righty then, here we go, scoping out the Camry K200. And we'll start in voltage mode. And I'm gonna leave this at six volts, which is where it's currently set, and press the button. And let's see what we get. And we can see the max is 4.16 volts. VDC 3.6, RMS 3.6. That's what it's showing when I've got 6 volts pressed. So let's roll that over to 3 volts and press the button. And you can see what's going on there. Max is 2.56, RMS is 2.32. Um, and then it times out. So let's go to watts. And it says 9 watts. I'm going to take it to 10 watts. Press the button yet again. And you can see what's going on. There's a definite cycle there. But the voltages that we're getting are nowhere close to what you would expect. Try that one more time. Button pressed. And you can see there's all kinds going on here. This is at 10 watts. Let's take it up one to 11 watts. And again, 2.56 max, an RMS of 2.32. Take it up again to 12 watts. RMS of 2.32 once it's settled. So it's not having any effect at all. Let's go to the voltage and although it's still set at 3, I'm going to take it up to 3.5, 3.6, 3.7. So we should get an RMS value of 3.7. 2.8. Max of 3.12. And that's with a battery that's pretty well charged. And you, you, ca oops, you catch me in the strange position that the iPad has gone flat. <laughs> so I've had to switch to a different machine in order to be able to do what we need to do. And hopefully it's going to work. I just love it when a plan comes together. There we go. So I'm now running off a different machine. And just so people know, so that you can see, and I'll ooh, try and make this easier, I'm charging the iPad from an iTest MVP and it is actually charging from the iTest MVP. Good old that. That's what you call clever. Right, yes. so to the, uh, the K2, to K200 itself. Um, what those figures are showing is that, the, and, and to answer some questions that came up in chat, yes, Winter Rogue, I have got shares in Apple. Um, to answer some questions that came up in chat, yes, I did have an atomizer on it. I've got a, a little a little sniffer that I use. This is it. And I, I connect up that way and then the atomizer goes on the end so I know exactly what I'm doing with it and I can scope it out exactly. The power control button does nothing. Right. It doesn't work. The voltage that this thing tells you it's putting out, it doesn't. It doesn't work the way it's designed on the tin. The electronics in it are not good. If you can get it to a state where you're enjoying it, and I have to say that I have been using it quite successfully, then fine, if you can get it at a cheap enough price. But quite honestly, 
I usually judge these things by why would I buy another one? And the answer to that is an unqualified no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy another one because it just doesn't do what it says on the tin. It's one of those pieces of kit that promises much, but unfortunately doesn't deliver. And, and it's a great shame because it is, I think it's pretty, it's, it's nice in the hand. I know yeah. you like it, don't you? Yeah. Uh, hold it. Mm -hmm. um, it's just not good. <laughs> I just realised what you said there. What? Sorry, carry on. What did I say? Nothing. Tell me. <laughs> no, you're all right. Carry no. on. Go on, tell me what no, I said. Just what he says about. I know you. What? <laughs> you said it's something like in the, in the heart, and he says you were referring to the mod. Ah, oh, right. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Carry on. Uh, I'll carry on. I'll <laughs> carry on. Um, so yes, I just don't. I, I, I mean, it, it looks nice. <laughs> it feels nice, but it really doesn't work the way it, it ought to. Like I say, that power button does nothing. I also said that I would um, have a look at the battery, and I did. And here it is. And he said, getting it into shot. I've peeled it, as you'll be able to see there. There's not a marking on it, it's not protected, but if you look, you'll be able to see, if I zoom in on it, maybe, try and get it so you can see, that the, there's a, a very thin, bleh, very thin neck. Mm -hmm. See how thin that neck is? Oh yeah. And what that probably means is that although it says 18650 on the tin, it's probably closer to a 14500. I think it's possibly a 14500 in an 18650 team. So what I'll do is mm. I'll, uh, I'll put a load over it, a resistive load over it, and I'll get it so that it's powered right down. I'll take it to bits and we'll find out exactly what's inside. But I mean, seriously, you can get your thumbnail right the way into that. Mm. Um, so yes, I, I'm afraid if I ever did recommend anything, I don't think I'd be recommending that. Mm. Um, and it's a shame because it looks nice. Yeah. Just doesn't do what you want it to do. I think what we'll do, we'll take a quick blast of adverts a little bit early and uh, then we'll have a look at one or two other devices and see how they work on the, uh, on the oscilloscope. And so if there's any requests in chat, give us a yell. Winter Rogue, I, I, can't, I can't say that they've lied on the battery size. I think... 2000 milliamp hours it might well have but certainly the crimp that's at the top of it uh, you can see just by looking on it how narrow that is and it doesn't look like any other 18650 i've ever come across mm. do you you know what i mean no. have a look at it yourself see what you think no it's definitely i mean even no i mean even the pink ones that you get with the um with the evix it's nothing like that it's not no. no no protection on it no nothing it's uh it's not the best on the face of the planet um it's cheap it's definitely cheap uh but i think it's cheap in all all senses yeah in the world uh midge dog you i'll put the i'll put the um <coughs> not the roller the the dingo on the scope we'll have a look at that and we'll see that there are in fact some issues with the switch on there as well we we'll play with all kinds of things so let me have a look and, uh, and we'll see how things go. In the meantime, a quick blast of advertisements. Back in a couple of minutes. The Safer6.co.uk sponsors of The Haze Out.
the six. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. And we're back, we're back, we're back. I've just realised um, I think it's too short planks tonight. Does it? Can't you plug the iPad into one of the other apples that you've got running and get a proper one so you can get your MVP back? Right, shall we? Shall we do some of yes. these things and put them on the scope and, and see how things go? Now, somebody's mentioned the MVP, somebody's mentioned the dingo or the roller, same sort of thing, and there's been all kinds of others mentioned, but I've got to bear in mind that a donkey's age ago, I said that I would, um, and I, I can't remember how to use this now, but I did say... I would look at the Zorbas and put it on the scope and tell you how it how it worked. Mm -hmm. So I'll I'll do that. Um, can you just hold that for yeah. me? Thank you very much. Now, long-term viewers will remember me building these little things uh, to suck the information out that we need. So all it is, it just allows me to get to the positive and negative, so that I can find the amperage and, and so on and so forth and to be fair what we do is we put the resistance on in other words we put the atomizer on and to prove everything is above board let's just give it a quick blast and you can see that that is working rather pleasantly so Let's go to the uh, the beastie itself and switch it on. Here it comes. Ooh. Right, there we go. And this is the scope. Now, what I need to do before I do anything else is check what this is set to in terms of wattage. Well, let's just push it through. And there you go. You can see it's setting out 5.9 volts mm -hmm. uh, with an RMS of 3.76, but its max is 5.9. Uh, and you can see that it's not um, pulse width modulation. It's pretty flat with the odd spike. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's brilliant. Now, let's try and set the amperage and check what we've got, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's go up and take this up to the full 15. And you'll see there's nothing happening on the oscilloscope. Right, I'm there. This is the full 15, here we go. And up she comes, and you can see right at the top of the trace. Yeah. And you can see it's 10 volts, 9 volts. Mm -hmm. Whacked it right up. Let's do it again. There you go. Oh, yeah. Look how high that is. Mm -hmm. That's off the Zorbus. Now, um, I'm here to tell you, sorry about the wobulation. I'm here to tell you that the Zorbus, as you can see, that's exactly how it works. At 15 watts, it was whacking up nearly 10 volts in order to get that because it's a fairly high resistance in this atomizer that I'm using. Um, so, let's try something else shall we we know for instance that the uh, i test mvp will only run uh, to five volts we know that to be true so we'll give that a try so i'll take me a little bit of gubbins off and we'll go and again i'm going to use the same device mm -hmm. so unscrew the tank Give you that to hold for a second. Screw the MVP on the bottom and check what we've got it sat at, set at and we'll see how this performs on the scope. It's a handy piece of kit is this scope. Absolutely. A low res at the vape inviting. I don't know that I've got any low res stuff kicking about. Um, I tend to run everything at around about two, two to two and a half ohms uh, purely and simply because it works nicely with all of the, the, the uh, variable wattage stuff I've got. Seems to run. So let's make sure that that's working. I 
and it is and let's uh, go too closely up your cam which is cam 4 it's called flying by the seat of the pants this is and let me just check that I've got it set to 5 volts I have right here we go so this is a 5 volt trace completely set up with everything on top buttons pressed and there you go oh yes all right it's showing a max of 4.16 again this is not pulse width pulse width modulation so there is a voltage drop over the coil let's press the button again there you go that's the trace so that's up a height where it ought to be so that's that's the MVP right now I'm going to keep the same device on and I'm going to put the dingo on and then you're going to see all kinds of clever stuff going on now it performs very well but you've got to know how to press the button right this is what I've discovered there's a certain way of doing it that you can get the full voltage out there and once you know how to do that it's fine but until then you are stuffed so let's go back to the camera and this is this is the dingo uh, it's a nice piece of kit go back to the oscilloscope and we'll try the dingo out so here we go now if I just press it as I am now you'll see there's the trace that we're getting around about 2.64 volts mm -hmm. right but if I give it what I know it needs it's not getting much higher than that is it no in fact that's that's a flat trace so it probably helps that I cleaned the button the other day <laughs> took it out and got it sorted out so there you go that's that's the dingo um what else you know i think if you clean these things regularly enough and i'm not usually a great one for cleanliness no it has to be said but if you clean them and keep them right they tend to work pretty damned well um from the point of view and, and I, I wanted to do a uh, a kind of a rehash of the zorbas anyway from the point of view of the, of the Zorbas, it has been treating me exceptionally well. Um, I cannot fault it in, in any way, shape or form. It's been doing the job brilliantly. It doesn't matter what I put on it, it works. It doesn't matter what I put it on, it works. And it is, well, do you want to try one of these at 15 watts, does? Yeah. I'll try the 15. On an, an X8? Yeah. This is what came with the uh, the Camry K200. I wouldn't even dare put it in. It would raffle that, you know. Mm. But the but the tank is, uh, if I recall, when I tried it, it was, a, it was refreshing to try a cardinal tank. Yes. Well, I'm going to set this back to something sensible. We'll stay 10 watts here this is all the way up top right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right we're at ten watts mm -hmm. mm. And that's a cart or mm. have a try at ten and then we'll set it up to the big beastie and see how it runs Mm. Oh, it packs a punch. Wait until it gets to fifteen. We'll uh, we'll see how it uh, how it works there. Right, fifteen watts coming up now. Just to remind people, what you do is you press it three times, one, two, three, and hold it, and you'll see the little light flash. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then it goes to red. One, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen right, it's a fifteen watts 15. this is about as hot as you ever want to go i 
and that is an absolute yes it's well you were having a drag on there i'm just going to read out what ritual i said evening mvip sitting here loving the snickers yes because we uh, we went all snickersy last week oh hang on all right make sure we can watch the little light and you can see whether you've got it or not that's it you're away ah it's dropped out that battery might want changing yeah mm. yeah you've got it oh that does oh. <laughs> gets a bit warm oh yeah it, it does um so the, the zorbas uh, basically the zorb zorba zorbas uh it has an s on but i think most people call it the zorba it does deliver exactly what it says when you put it on the scope it delivers exactly what it says you can do all the maths in the world and it works out right um and i really am very impressed by it um and i want i want more i do want more mm. now what they're talking about Bambi. oh blaze has just said that'll be tens of thousands of degrees did you say that Oh, over yesterday. That on, on, yes, yes. Yeah, on, on tens my, of thousands. Oh, yes. And I've got no throat left, obviously, now. Obviously not, no. no I mean, we'll I've got have, no throat um, that at all. At least 2,000 yeah, degrees. Absolutely. At, at 15 watts, it's got to be all. Practically as hot as the sun, you know. Almost. Yeah, almost. Yeah. You, you, you wouldn't see anything hotter at a Girls oh, Aloud concert. Without a doubt. Without at least if you were looking at the ginger one, you wouldn't. <laughs> Well, it's, it's it, I mean, putting that the one side, because I mean, when we talk about tens of thousands of degrees, if we talk about, like, say, curry, like, I can't, can't have a hot curry. So if you're talking about tens of thousands of degrees, I wouldn't be going anywhere near it if it was, like, that hot. You know, he's admitted that he made it up. So he should. He's admitted, so he should. He's admitted that he made it up, or his aides have admitted yeah, absolutely. that he made it up. Because basically he was lying to try and uh, manipulate. Well, to discredit ACs, he's yeah, not absolutely. alone either. No, he's not alone. No, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to stick that on there for the minute because um, the, there's all kinds of web pages. I was saying, looking yesterday, um, have have you heard of Stanton Glance? Stanton Glance. No. Stanton Glance. Has anybody heard of Stanton Glance? In chat, Stanton Glantz, he's, uh, he's the devil incarnate, really, when it comes to... Um, Parrot Flock has. There you go, Parrot Flock. I'll let you fill everybody in then, because I don't want to say what I think of him live on air, because it gets recorded, and the libel laws are... Uh, yeah, OK, Castello 544 has got it, <laughs> in one. Um, let's just say custard, but take the cuss off. Ah, right. Okay. A very evil dude, and, and, and there you go. Tracy Collins says he's the custard that came to New Zealand well it was four asterisks so I would have said Gary Dibley but <laughs> <laughs> now, settle down dear boy settle down um, from from Michael Siegel's blog let me let me just show you this it says it's a contest Michael's running a contest he says what is this anti-smoking researcher up to Tuesday Stanton Glance sent out a one-line note on his announcement list simply asking if anyone could provide a particular statistic in which he's interested. That's fair. That's fair. Now, I think I know my colleague and hero so well that I can guess exactly why he's looking for this statistic. So, today's rest of the story is a contest to see if any of my readers can figure out what Dr. Glantz is up to, in my opinion, and why, in my opinion, he wants this particular statistic. The announcement was entitled question about spontaneous unassisted quitting and his query was as follows i'm looking for the one year successful quit rate for people who quit unassisted results from italy would be especially useful as would supporting citations i'm sorry i'm cracking up here and he's going to review and evaluate all the guesses and then later on provide an answer and i i might have I'm whip, whipping past that lot because they're they're action they're actionable. It honestly saves me go and have a look. I, I, I might have made a reply under the name of David Dorn where I've said, shouldn't he already know? I mean, he isn't he the self-confessed guru expert, saviour prophet of smoking cessation and tobacco control, mm -hmm. or does he just not like that Pelosa, who by the way would be a much better hero 
for Mr. Seagull, has managed to show that e-cigs, far from being the devil incarnate, are probably the most useful tool to emerge in the last two decades. Whatever his motives are, I don't trust either them or him. He is a charlatan. And that's a posh word for a custard. And very much what, uh, what has been said in chat, where apparently <laughs> Mr. Glance is not going down all that well. People don't really like him very much because apparently he tells porky pies and it would appear that he is now trying to discredit the study uh, that, that, that Dr. Pelosa, Ricardo Pelosa came up with. Now, we've mentioned this before and again, if you haven't read it, you really need to. But just to be, uh, to be good about it, I can, I can tell you that if you go to Dr. Siegel's blog and look at his... Uh, his piece on it and I, I can go there so I will. The first ever clinical trial of electronic cigarettes find 13% one year quit rate among smokers with no interest in quitting and that's the important part the no interest in quitting and let's let's flash through it because you can get a longer version of it from uh, last night's show um, and basically here it is opponents of electronic cigarettes can no longer argue that smokers who quit using e-cigs are merely substituting one addiction for another more than 70% of the smokers who quit using e-cigs actually quit using e-cigarettes as well. Pack it all in. It appears that switching to e-cigs may facilitate the process of quitting nicotine use altogether. This lessens any concern that electronic cigarettes might maintain nicotine addiction among smokers who would otherwise have quit smoking and completely ended their nicotine use. And Stanton Glance can't stand that. He doesn't like it at all. Neither does Roberto Bertolini of the World Health Organization. And if you've been on Twitter, you will see that a few challenges have been made. Um, and in fact, where are we? Here we go. Now, you might reckon, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to kind of go away from fun and stuff like that, but this is, it's got me giggling my little socks off. Because what we're seeing is the tobacco controllers on the back foot wetting themselves because the evidence is now there. The likes of Ms. Pissinger, remember her? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. She's just been blown out of the water, completely, totally and utterly blown out of the water, as has Bertolini. Have a look at this. This is being written up by uh, Smirky Joe. Smirky Joe. Smirky Joe. Um, and he's gone through all of this little lot. And this is the bit I want you to have a look at. If you're not on Twitter, this is why you should be. Antoine Flahau, Flahau, I don't know how to pronounce Flahout. this. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. But he said, evidence is coming. RCT showing benefit and no adverse effect in smokers using EC published June 24. And that's the Pelosa study. To which Roberto Bertolini has come, pack, come back and said, please read the article carefully. There are many methodological problems and the conclusions are unfounded. Gordon Beard... Oh, Gordon Beard. Gordon Beard on Twitter has said, methodological problems, please outline briefly. To which, to which, Bertolini comes back and says, just to name a few, loss to follow up, 40%, blindness to treatment after week 12 and others. Now, let me come back on this one. You may recall again that this is being covered and indeed it gets covered further down the article and was, was covered on Twitter. Uh, where are we? Let's see if I can find it on here. On, on, basically, what happened on Twitter, we said, yeah, that's fine. Um, so it uses an intent to treat analysis, which is what you're supposed to do. That's how it's supposed to work. And Bertolini is backpedaling again. We've offered him the opportunity, and I want to do it publicly now. Dr. Bertolini, who representative, I'm formally inviting you to come and join us on VT Talk, I will host you, I will ho host Dr. Pelosa, and I will host either Clive Bates or Jerry Stimson or both if I can get the technology together to do it. And I would like very much for you to discuss why you think Dr. Pelosa's study is invalid. What makes you think, given that you have done no research yourself into anything like this, what makes you think he's wrong? It's a formal invitation. If you would care to take us up on it, I'm sure our viewers would be very, very happy 
as would a great many other people. Justify your actions, sir. Justify your actions. And at that point, we're going to take some adverts. Back in two minutes. I've, I've just got to read something out from chat really quickly. Um, Mark Shaw said he thought that Bertolini was an MEP. Damn, I'm shocked. You have to feel for the guy, though. Apparently, the whole of his village has been wiped out by <laughs> E-Cigs. You've got to have watched the, <laughs> the workshop in May to understand that. Uh, <laughs> he, he really doesn't like E-Cigs. He really doesn't like E-Cigs. And for the life of me, I cannot understand why. Um, <laughs> Funny. It's just funny. Um, somebody's come. Pie boy, can you type that in again, please? Uh, we're hearing that 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 the Royal Mail's not carrying e-juice. Really? I don't know where that's come from. If you can type it in and give me a reference, please, um, because if that's the case, we need to know. We need to know. Some uh, yeah, funny tricks to said. Some people don't like e-cigs because it's like having your cake and eating it. Mm. Uh, and as has, as has been pointed out, there are cheap enough couriers out there if Royal Mail's not doing it. Mm -hmm. Disco Des has asked the question: How will they know if it's e-juice in a package? They won't. Uh, apparently, Liberty Flights has said it. Right. They're tightening up what you can post. Well, well I know Daz is in, so I don't know if Daz can come through. If he's heard anything. Well, uh, I'll be honest, if I'm ordering from Daz, I always say... Uh, mm. Right, Va Vaping Viking is a postman, and he said it's custardly ridiculous. It's custardly ridiculous. It's custardly ridiculous. Mm -hmm. oh, and okay. RM hasn't classed a liquid in this. Okay, Gary Dibley has already said, trust me, you could post a poo, and RM would deliver it. <laughs> Late, but they'd deliver it. Fair enough. We'll probably better need to do some catchy up stuff, really, because I'm just looking at all of this little lot. There's a bit of news that everybody needs to be aware of. Um, and it starts tonight at 10 o'clock. So I'm, I'm going to gonna go to this because I want to announce this for Mr. Dibley. And if you're on UKV, you'll already have seen this, but I'm, I'm sorry for repeating it. But it's Drip Tips for Children in Need Fund, hand made. Now, if you've seen Gary on Monday night, he's making drip tips, and I think he's doing a sterling job. He's done Absolutely. some really, really pretty ones. I'm jealous, actually. Wish I was clever like him. Um, but here's where we'll go. Um, bottom line, you, 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 can, you can all go and read it, but he wants to start his fundraising for children in need early to try and smash what was raised last year. So, I should do it in his accent. So, in my new hobby of turning tips, I thought a tip a day might be a good idea. I'm not selling any tips for cash for me. Is that Gary Dibley? That's Gary Dibley. 
that's going to be. However, along the way, I may sell a few to aid postage costs and to buy new blanks to make the tips. This will all be totally open, and if you want to see any proof, just ask. I would say selling one tip would fund postage for five, including the one sold to fund postage. Lol, I thought this would be easy. <laughs> sort it up. Why buy a tip for children in need? My tips are hand turned and have the Cyan Mods 304 SS insert. It's no like Gary Dibley. So it should be safe for juice that likes to eat acrylic tips. <laughs> yes, ask Mark about acrylic tips and juice that likes to eat them. Cyan Mods have donated me all the inserts to make this happen. Each tip will be completely individual as I turn them by feel. He does as well. Mm. Apparently, he's got really, really sensitive fingers. So I saw on Monday. Yeah, his, his mm. wife was telling us as well. All right, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Very sensitive fingers. Uh, so they should be safe. Where was that? Yes. Each tip will be completely individual as I turn them by feel, and the material gives something new every time. Mm. You dirty beast, Dibley. There's no way of requesting a tip. What is on offer that day is the one and only tip. So he'll post a tip for sale at about six o'clock every night till supplies run out. He'll state it's for children in need or tip fund, tip fund being postage or materials. And I hope that that seems perfectly clear to me, Gary. Yeah. Um, if you want to buy the tip, you PM him. He'll answer the first PM and give payment instruction. It'll be a link to just giving or in the instance of tip funds, his PayPal details. Tips of the week will be posted every Monday. So his poor wife only has to go to the post office once a week. Any questions? And he'll post the first tip tonight at 10 o'clock after the here's hour. So go to UKV, Gary will put the tip up there. I don't know which one it's going to be. I haven't got a clue which one it's going to be. And then go and get it. That, that's that simple. What I'm thinking about doing is ordering a black and gold. Any black and gold ones I'm going to be ordering. Black and gold. I want the black and gold ones, without a doubt. Um, so there you go and whoever's first i'm sure gary will announce on monday night but that's hand built by gary dibley for children in need it might even be shown on his show that that's yeah there's a stitch up he might even show it being made you know the first one he might he might even show it but you never know never know. you never just know well, gary never he's know. a magician that fella just make sure you keep it that leave the good oil though gary before you start anymore yes what, what, what? What are we doing? Balloons. Balloons filled with non-flammable gases are permitted. Oh, right. Oh, in, right. Through the post. Who the hell's going to send a filled balloon through the post? I don't know. Can you, fill, can you fit a filled balloon through a letterbox? Why would you? Use? Why would you even want to try? It's mm. just, just complete madness. Just complete madness. Um, right. Now, next thing he said, moving on. You might out as well recall a couple of weeks back. I had a look at this little thing. Do you remember it? Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to camera four. That was the week my car was poorly. Was it the week your car was poorly? It was. was. It? Oh, dearie me. Not good, good, good. Right, this, this, is, this is the beastie in question. You might remember it. It's the, uh, U, the I go F, the UD I go F. And mm -hmm. I couldn't make it work. And I said I was going to take it to the knees, mate, for people to have a go at making it work. Well, since I did that video, I've managed to make it nearly work, but not as a tank, just as somewhere to stop the juice from all of this wick that's coiled up around the middle, because I too watched the video mm. uh, that came out from, from UD. Mm. Uh, I watched the video and did it the way they said on that, and I still have trouble getting me wick in. Mm. It's always a problem, yeah. always a problem. Um, let's go back to the, the double camera, I'll put it back together. Uh, I'm, I'm still gonna take it to the knees, mate, and if anybody can make it work better so it doesn't Pittle juice out all over the place. If you try to use it as a tank, it's a dog to get back together when you've got it like that. But yeah, if you fill that tank up with uh, with wick, it actually works quite nicely. Now I've said before, I'm not a dripper, and I'm not. I still need lessons, and I really do want the lessons at the knees, mate. Mm -hmm. um, while I clean this off and stick it on the device and make sure it's got enough in, uh, will remind you about the knees, mate. I think it's going to be brilliant. It happens on Saturday, you know. It does. Did you know that? Yes. Saturday, South Shields, the knees meet. Be there.
That's it. The knees meet. The knees meet happens on Saturday. You really need to be there. Now, when before we went into that, you'll have seen that that wick in this Igo F was saturated. Yes. It was sopping, dripping, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. I took two draws during the course of that at 4.2 volts off this MVP, which I'm here to tell you tells all kinds of lies. Right. It's supposed to be 2,600 milliamp hours. Mm. It's not. What is it? Twice that. It has to be. Yeah. I'll tell you for why. This is the bloke that goes through three 18650s a day. Yes. And my 18650s are all 2200s or higher. Don't tell me that's lasting you a day. It's lasting me a day. <laughs> Even, and that's just you using that solely for a whole day and it's lasting you? It's all I've been using the last wow. three or four days. My God. Well, I was going to say, because I know you definitely use at least uh, 18, uh, three 18650s like you say. There you have a blast. I've knocked it down to 4.2 volts. And let's see whether it keeps on wicking. You can enjoy that. I can of make mine wick, Leanna. If you're coming up the knees, mate, pet lamb, I can of make it wick. I just cannot. I need some help with it. I don't mind admitting it's probably me. I'm probably a numpty. Um, and I've probably got something wrong. But if somebody can put me right, that'll be brilliant. It's flavourful. Oh, it's definitely, I mean, it, it's flavourful, it, it, for sure. What, if, if you're a dripper, you'd love it. I just can't get it to wick from that tank. Mm. Just can't. There's also been a piece on the World Service about e-cigs. Apparently, chat's telling us now. And we'll, we'll get some, some links up to that sorted out as well. I want to try and uh, put it on next week if we can. And the, one of the journalists that were, was involved in that is coming on the bus to Brussels. Ah, right, okay. The bus. The bus. The train. Yes. Not the bus. The train. Why did you let me see a bus? I don't know. It's those I new did glasses. hear something about a bus, though, yesterday. A bus? Yeah. Coach. Coach. Train coach. Yeah. Aye. Ah, train coach. Train coach. Not coach coach. Not right. a coach coach, no. Mm. Is that, is that waiting all right for you? It, it must be me. Thing. It must be me. No, that's what you're fine. It is. It's absolutely fine. It must be me then. Maybe I'm sensitive to burns. Vape bus, Jeff Bennion said. Vape bus. Vape bus is good. Train vaping. Train like vaping. That. Vape train. Vape train. We need, we need Gary to yeah. do us, uh, Gary to do us one of his songs that he does, you know, because he writes them and, and records them. That's true. If we can get something funky. Get on a vape train <laughs> to Brussels. Get on a vape train. Pop your balloon. Yeah. Get on a vape train I'll, to I'll Brussels. Win. And we will do what we gotta do. Get down. Get back up again. That'll be good. Oh, Kronos, I don't like you anymore. He said it's my unfeasibly big gob that dries any wick in seconds. That's wick and fine. Definitely. Because we're the fine. vape preservation society. Because <laughs> we're the vape preservation society. We'll have that done. Yeah. And just so that you know. Mm. Use your glasses. I'll wear my 70s outfit from the night before in dedication to you. All I said, all you had to do was blow the bloody doors off. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, lad, you must have brilliant eyesight. Yeah. To see through them. Yeah. I can't. They're very light, mind. They are. Very to comfortable. In there. Very comfortable. Yes. Yes. Did you cover the Guns N' Roses? I haven't. Guns and Musical. Guns N' Roses. Guns yes. Guns N' Roses. They've, the chat's gone off now. Ah. That's it. They're all talking about uh, getting on the train to go and have a pop at the EU. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff. Daz has a titanium rim. Let's not go there. Let's not. Let's talk about Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses. Yeah. If anybody likes the band, they do some queer stuff. But here we have Guns N' Roses, right? Look at that headline. Guns N' Roses DJ Ashba blames e-cigarettes for near-death experience. By Jeff Giles, June 27. That's today, you know. Mm. Yeah. 
the debate over whether or not e-cigarettes can be used as an effective smoking cessation device has been raging for years. But according to Guns N' Roses DJ Ashba, there ain't nothing like the real thing. In fact, Ashba blames his dabbling with electronic cigarettes, which use a vapor delivery mechanism to simulate the smoking experience with nearly ending his life. The story came about on Instagram via Blabbermouth, where a photo Ashba posted of himself holding a cigarette prompted a fan to ask, I taught you quit the cigs, man. Responding to that, he gave up real cigarettes for nine months but swapped them out for e-cigarettes that he bought in a mall in Poland. Ashba said he ended up learning the hard way that they contained high doses of nicotine and antifreeze, right. which kills people. <laughs> Continued Ashba, nobody knows this, but I was rushed to the hospital, put on a heart monitor, and I had eight of the best doctors trying to save my life. Poison control confined that the nicotine intake that was going into my body from the fake cigarettes was equivalent to smoking 33 packs of cigarettes a day. That 33 packs of cigarettes yeah. a day. Ashba claims that his ordeal continued or concluded with his doctors advising him to return to real cigarettes because my body would go in a shock if I just stopped smoking. Ergo, his recent photo with one of the old-fashioned cancer sticks. It's kind of an odd story, to say the least, and the majority of the comments on the Blabbermouth story express doubt or disbelief. Not only did Ashba found antifreeze don't eat cigarettes in a Polish mall, but did a doctor would ever recommend smoking. But hey... Anything's possible when you're in Guns N' Roses, right? Wow, Jesus. God. Good oh. God Almighty. Well, Slash uses 192 milligram bacon menthol in a dual coil cartomizer. He doesn't follow her. Well, then, Polish have got some strong stuff, haven't they? I'll tell you what, I'm way off to Polish land. <laughs> If they've got if they've got enough that makes using an e-cigarette equivalent to smoking thirty three packs a day, and then you've got the MHRA saying they're not effective. <laughs> 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 we should put those doctors and Jeremy Main together. Can you I? just imagine oh, the conversation? That, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> What's that? Is it? Good God! It's time to go. It's um, time to go. It's been a brilliant. It, it, it just flown. It it's has. gone. Hey, thank you for being with us. Now we're we'll, going to be here for three weeks. You're not, are you? No. Not for three weeks. Well, that's the way it goes. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure sharing the last hour with you. I hope you've enjoyed it. We certainly have. It's wow. been brilliant. Daz won't be here next week. Somebody will be. I definitely will be. Don't forget to tune in on Sunday night for Dave's Tackle Box. If you go on the knees, mate, I'll see you on Saturday. Until we see you all next week, have a wonderful time. See you soon. Take bye care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.